There's been a big turnout for early voting in the US, with long lines at many polling stations, like this one in Los Angeles County. But one group was noticeably absent, as many election volunteers noticed. I haven't seen a lot of Latinos today. That's come as a surprise, since one Latin American issue has played a big role in the campaign. The migrants making their way to the US-Mexican border from Central America. President Trump has put the issue of illegal migration at the forefront of his campaigning for the Republicans, blaming the Democrats for allowing them into the United States. Democrats hope to turn Latino discontent over Trump's migration rhetoric into votes, but they don't have a detailed strategy for the diverse Latino community, according to Sonia Diaz, the head of a Latino think tank. Almost 60 percent of Latinos surveyed in a national poll had not received any sort of communication, information from a candidate. Latino interest groups are trying to fill the void. Many, such as the immigrants' rights organization Chirla in Los Angeles, have set up call centers. Volunteers have translated voter guides and are reaching out to potential voters. Six out of ten Latinos are millennials, and many are voting for the first time. The latest polls have shown that less than half of them know who's running in their respective districts. With the political rhetoric high and a growing distrust in the government and its institutions, many have simply tuned out. The Trump administration has had a very negative effect on the way Latinos view the elections. Because we now believe that our vote doesn't count or it's not going to affect the administration. Kevin De Leon is a Democratic candidate for senator. He's been one of the most visible of all of the Latino candidates in California. And he's been urging Democrats to articulate a position beyond stop Trump. During a campaign rally at his favorite taco vendor, De Leon called on Latinos to vote for his fellow Democrats to help win back the House of Representatives. It's critical that these very dangerous, consequential times in our nation's history, when we're engaged in a battle for the soul of our nation against a president without one, that the Latino vote comes out strong. You know, come Tuesday, November 6th, to send a very clear message that we're one America. Latino voters represent one of the fastest growing demographics in the United States. This year's midterms may indicate whether the Democrats have found the key to mobilizing them at the polls.